is a huge day here at Magic Kingdom and Disney World because Cinderella's Royal Table is full force back with all the princesses and wait till you see our best table in the world where we're gonna be sitting to watch the fireworks and show you why this is absolutely worth dining and why it's worth the price. Let us know in the comments after watching this vlog what you think and we're gonna be giving away shirts. So keep an eye out for a trivia question throughout this vlog. Now let's hurry because we gotta get to Cinderella's table. We don't wanna end up midnight and then miss the whole thing. Oh but wait, hit that like and subscribe button because it's never a dull moment here on LBB TV. My name is Maria. Okay, now we can go. All right, I'll talk about this more in depth later, but as you can see, it's closed off over here. Uh, so I was told to go to a cast member to find out how to get to Cinderella's Royal Table. So my adventure to Cinderella's Royal Table continues as I'm walking all over the place. There's so many barricades for the fireworks. Give yourself easily 40 minutes to get, if you're coming around 7.30, to Cinderella's Royal Table because of all the barricades. So to the right of the carousel here, you're gonna come and then check in over here. All right, I finally found it. Oh, here we go. I feel so special. Guys, look, we have a whole empty area. Look so, at all these room for activities. <laughs> yeah, so another reason to come early, by the way, is to get just a great photo right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm, yeah, I'm way too excited. <laughs> and also we have Promise here with us. Oh, and you know what time it is. It's Cinderella time. Oh, I'm so the excited. Tea ever. It's, Wait, are we giving away one of these? Yes. Oh, we're going to give away, of okay. course, a shirt. So, what's the trivia question? I have a really good trivia question. Okay. Cinderella's Table was an opening day attraction. Do you know the original name? Leave it in the comments below. I know it. I have it in here. Wow. It wasn't Cinderella's Royal Table. It was something different. No way. Leave it in the comments. Was Cinderella and they in win it? Yes. Please. We know, and we're gonna give away two okay. in honor of your yeah. vlog and ours. <laughs> hey, promise! Look, Mardi Gras beads. I'm just Ooh, kidding. We, we, had, we had an awesome <laughs> Mardi Gras vlog, guys. We make sure to check money. that out. And every time I see beads now, if you haven't seen that awesome vlog, make sure to go check it out. Um, but also, I didn't know they did lunch as well and breakfast and breakfast. And of course, we're gonna try the specialty wine cocktails and more. And look at all the different things you can get. This looks amazing. We might have to do this twice. <laughs> I say that before I know the price. That's all right. We'll find out how much this costs <gasps> when I get inside. It's all right. It's worth it. Oh my goodness, guys. There's that man there. He announces you as you enter. Like how they do at the White House state dinners. Where they're like, no, Miss Maria, Christina, and Princess Promise. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You, got, you guys don't understand. They only announce you at White House state dinners. Oh, and it's like or on Disney Cruise Line. Disney Cruise Line? Yeah. But it's like I used to announce the people coming on <laughs> oh Disney gosh, Cruise Line. Yes. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> that, let me know in the comments, would you be excited for anybody at Disney just to announce your name? Mayor Jeff. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I'm really excited to hear them be like, and here we have Princess Maria, Robis, and Christina. Welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. There's even a red carpet. Oh, I can't. This, oh my gosh. It's like, it's like Hogwarts. <laughs> all right, so we're just learning how this all works. No joke, we're so excited. We're lost, there's two different lines. All right, so first you get in line to meet Cinderella and then you take a seat while they wait to call your name to be seated in the royal dining hall. And I'm ready to play fairy godmother. I bestow upon you, Christina, a magic wand. Thank you. Yes. And then I think we get in the red carpet line. Like, yeah, I think like so. Like we go into the Oscars. <laughs> it's Oscar season. Again, if you're new to our channel, Christina, you can attest. Am I excited about everything? She's so excited. Everything. Everything. Everything, everything in life. Everything in life. All the time. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's Cinderella. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't even look. Guys, let me know in the comments, are you as excited as I am? Oh my goodness. So Cinderella is one of my favorite princesses and I'll explain later why. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Look at her gorgeous interior of her castle. You know, she's done a lot of good cleaning in here. I'm just saying it's spick and spick. <laughs> I wish to see more princesses. So, boo, 
That means more princesses are going to join us for dinner. Oh my, I think it's Jasmine, uh, Sleeping Beauty, a whole bunch of them. Double the princesses, double the fun. Look at that star right, right there. That's Cinderella right there. This is the magic wand that they give you. And you are never too old to have a magic wand. I love how they announce people with the, uh, the bell. It feels very royal in here. Now wait till you see some of the hidden gems in here. Now, Christina just showed me this. There is Jack and Gus Gus. Oh my goodness, so cute. Look at them. They're eating cheese. As you can tell, we're big fans. Thank you. I wanted something like your tiara. Now, um, if you could wish for any wish, I know you've gotten all of them to come true basically already, but what else would you wish? Especially now all the princesses are here. Oh, you have a You have wish for anything more. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are, you are princess goals. I'm a big fan. Well, and if anything, I would wish that all your games come true. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, I will bibbity bobbity boo to that. Thank you. They called our name while we were meeting Cinderella, so I missed the whole excitement of getting our name called, but it was worth it. Oh, here we go. The staircase even looks sparkly. Oh, yeah, you're right. I promise you said that even the staircase is sparkly. It is. Oh, this is beautiful. What? Oh, my gosh. And then you can look down below. Oh my goodness. Feel free to keep track how many times I say that tonight. What? This is beautiful. Oh my goodness, Ariel. This is already beautiful and amazing. We have a seat right by the window. Yes. Do you know if we're going to get to see fireworks? I don't know about the view. We might get a little, uh, uh We're going to hear it, I bet. Down. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> spray pixie dust. Yeah, a little pixie and dust. And ash. And they even, like, gave us a little wishing star. Oh, my. When we got to the table. Oh. When you wish upon us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't get over all this. So, Christina did some research ahead of time. There are tons of different flights. There is a royal sparkling flight. As you can see there, a stepsister's flight. A bell of the ball flight. A castle flight. Royal 50th celebration. Ladies, let's do it. Chris is driving, let's do it. And then the appetizers of the court. Wow, and you get to pick one from each section as a part of the prefix menu. So we have here, I think I'm gonna pick the chilled jumbo shrimp, but braised beef sounds like an entree. And then we have a magical carpet ride, which is a pork tenderloin, I heard it's very good. Grilled chicken, tenderloin beef, and wow, look at all of these. This is heavy duty. This is heavy duty. Something's happening, something's happening. Is it evil? Is it magical? Is it, is it a fire alarm? What's happening? Oh my, oh no, I think it's pixie dust. We're safe. We're safe. Well, it's time to make a wish, guys. All right, everybody grab, grab your wand. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh, I'm much cheap here. <laughs> Promise, who is your favorite princess? Even though we are at Cinderella's world table, and I love her so, so dearly, I gotta go with the OG princess. Snow White, since I was a little girl, I think I just identified with her. She was a pale skin, dark hair. You look girl. like her. <laughs> um, and when I worked here, I wanted to be Snow White. I worked at the Great Movie Ride. I wasn't a princess, but that was like my dream. And I have not got to meet her since pre-COVID. I had a picture here with her probably three or four years ago. So the fact that this beautiful restaurant is back open and we can meet our favorite princess again is so wonderful. Mine is Cinderella. And Maria based off all your blue and your glitter and your blonde hair. <laughs> I think I know. Well, you know, a lot of people forget Cinderella. Her story is incredible. This is a girl who loses her mom, her dad, is orphaned. She's lost everything. And she ends up in a situation where you would think that she would end up being mean or unkind or angry. Instead, she constantly is happy and has hope 
and every day is the best day ever. And she's just a source of positivity and light. And even after her dreams come true, she's still a source of kindness to those that hurt her. So I mean, it's a really good lesson in how to treat people and how to also find a positivity and the silver lining, you know, even in the darkest of days. And that your dreams will come true with time. So I think her story often we just overlook it as a, a beautiful princess with a beautiful castle, but really it is a story of somebody going above and beyond through adversity and giving you a little hope to the it. Oh my goodness, so enchantment is happening right now. We hear it. Oh look, you can see the, uh, the lasers outside. She didn't tell us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, they're coming out. Oh my gosh, they're coming out right out of the castle. They're coming out of the castle. What?
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like I would want the castle cocktail flight for breakfast because I had the mimosa. I would maybe want the other one, like the, with the cooler and the strawberry for lunch, and yeah. then the champagne this for dinner. This is the royal sparkling flight. This is a red rose regal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and wait to see the other one. So good. Our appetizer is so good. And already I think it's worth the price. I'll tell you more about the price point in a little bit. Um, but why it is, I think, worth the cost. Christina, what did you get? I got a, I think it was like a Royal Castle salad. Royal ca it looks very light and also very chopped, like a chopped salad. Yes. Very good. And that is what it was. It was okay, I was going to say, it looks like a very fancy, like, Hollywood Brown Derby salad. And then I got the chilled jumbo shrimp with an avocado uh, mousse. Ooh, avocado mousse. This looks amazing. And they're big. Look, look at the size of my hand. That's a, that's a big, big shrimp. All right, so we're going to try the Royal Celebration Flight. I'm going to try. It doesn't say what it is. But there's boba pearls in it. Okay, so the other one had directions as to what each item was. This one is a little bit more unique. It says, produced by Nicolas Fiolate. This champagne is a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot something manure. Manure? <laughs> manure? <laughs> it's basically. It, <laughs> look, I'm not making it up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up. It says manure. <laughs> I never said I could speak well, so I haven't even had the drink yet, okay? So, <laughs> so don't come for me. Um, it says it has a nice white uh, floral scent with notes of apple and apricot layered with honey. But it doesn't say what I'm about to drink. Well, cheers to that. We know what we're going to describe what it tastes like. Okay. So she's trying just a regular champagne, which is that fancy <laughs> manure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Southern Art Channel is never a dull moment, I promise you, even when reading items. Mine has boba pearls in it and looks like something Jafar made. Let's find out. Happy birthday to you. It's good. It's really good. Oh my god. Like a light and crisp. This is delicious. It's like a blueberry champagne. Champagne, you're not supposed to do what I'm doing. Look here, I'm, I'm doing it magically. Yeah, look, look, it's magic. It's happening just with the so wand. So classy. Three classy ladies go out to dinner. All right, would you like to eat the strawberry? You can have the strawberry. Oh, I'm good. Eat it to her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> Girls' night. Thank you. Girls' night. It's crazy here at Cinderella's <laughs> Royal Table. Things, things get wild. Um, so this is the strawberry puree. Do you want to do the honors? Okay. It did work. Yeah, that's going to be good. To, to yeah. stir it, it is a legit puree. It's not a sauce. Like this one, 100% is just blueberry syrup in it. Um, it's a, probably a blue. Is it called curacao? Curacao. Yay, see, I, I can speak it. Look at you. This is really good. It's like not too sweet. Yeah, it literally looked like absolutely fresh strawberry puree. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The royal celebration flight for the 50th? That means you only have like 30 days to come drink this. You're gonna laugh, guys. This was the least exciting flight. And this it's just the, because it's just mimosa, it's this uh, is the a bellini. Yeah, you can get this, this technically breakfast. at Steakhouse 71. You know what I love? I love that these were really unique and rare, and the champagne was specific to this restaurant and to this experience that you can't get at another Disney property. Which I think is really neat. So, I just thought this was gold champagne, you know. And then, Christina made a good point. There is gold flakes in there. There is gold flakes. Does that make it taste better? We're gonna find out. Okay, I've never eaten gold flakes. Oh, that's amazing. That's fantastic. 
champagne. The Pinot Manure. <laughs> is exceptional. So if you're watching this vlog and you're like, oh, she been drinking. No, I just wanna let you know they're all full. <laughs> they're all full. I am naturally like this. Make sure to watch our other vlogs and you'll be like, yes, yeah, she is. Because there's never a dull moment. There's never a dull moment. So gonna our channel, never a dull moment. Even when just sipping one quick, one quick sip. And our dinner just came, wait till you see this, look. That is the grouper. And it looks amazing. It came in a banana leaf and the guy even fancy like opened it up. Check out what did you get? The beef tenderloin. Mm. So as I mentioned, I think it's worth the price based on comparable food items and the parts and prefix menus and character dining. This isn't much more expensive than most character dining in general, even if I went to Hollywood Studios at Minnie's Diner. So let's see if the food is worth it. So I think the grouper is fantastic. Usually grouper can be a really tough fish. It usually is really rubbery when you get it at a restaurant because they can overcook it easily. This was perfectly cooked because of the banana leaf. It really helped the moisture stay in there. So it's not a rubbery, you know, really chewy fish. Super soft, melts in your mouth with a pesto sauce, I think. Like, it's got a nice, like, basil pesto with it. And I personally think this is the best bang for your buck for a prefix menu. And California Grill, uh, it's $89 a per, or, sorry, $90 a person, and you don't get the characters. But it's actually a very similar menu. You get the grouper, a lot of those items are on the California Grill menu. So for $10 less, you can eat here, get the princesses, get the fireworks, amazing drinks, really fun ambiance, and a memory I think that's really rare and unique. But I will say California Grill, yes, you do get the fireworks there as, as well. So there's pros and cons. If you love characters, this is probably the coolest character dining you can do. All right, so I usually can't eat beef, and uh, this is a beef tenderloin. She's trying to get me to think it's tender. Like, look, look at the watch. She doesn't even have to use a knife. How like crazy it's is coming that? off just with the fork. That is crazy. It's very tender. So I really loved my tenderloin, and I know that you guys loved your fish. But I was like confused at first about the presentation. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit elevated, but then I remembered they are really keeping with the theming of like medieval. So it was just like a meat and vegetables. You guys had it things cooked in like corn husks and, veg and vegetables. Um, so they wanted to keep it kind of like medieval style. Okay, how would like, it feel it's not like modern? Yeah, that's place. a good point. Like if you're eating in this room, it's not gonna come out with you know smoke. And uh, you know a a mousse bouche of blah blah blah. The only fancy word here is Pinot Manure. Pinot <laughs> but no, for real, like it's very. It is a very medieval plating, but yes, very, very simple. simple. But the flavors are more. Yeah. So now all the princesses are coming out to their songs. We just heard Snow White's famous song. It's wonderful to get to. Oh, thank you. So good to see you. Restaurant. Yes, of course. The artist. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's really beautiful. Isn't it? Your food is amazing. Did you help cook any of this or? Oh, no, I do leave that to Laura Cinderella's wonderful friends. And all the mice. Next time, I'll have to bring a gooseberry pie to share with everyone. Oh, I love your gooseberry pie. <laughs> it's one of my favorite restaurants. So if you're wondering if this is more for adults or families, you're probably coming. Could, I would say half the crowd is families, but half the crowd is just adults like us, uh, couples, friends, girlfriends. And again, I just love that I feel like a kid in here, but also it's so fancy and there's magical moments for adults. I think it's definitely one of the coolest character dining spots. Even if you don't like princesses, I think the experience of coming in Cinderella's castle is a whole other level. And I mean, hey, so this is definitely love. 100% this is love. I get worried about everything. He loves dessert. Oh no. The only problem is it gives him a sugar rush, and then you put the magic you cannot pop it upside oh. down. Apples, bananas, bread, sugar, pistachios, or any kind of dessert. Oh my god. Yeah, he's really into ice cream, but he can never get it quick enough, so he really loves that. So. <laughs> Well, Jasmine, I don't know. I think you should have your own restaurant. I'm just throwing it out there. You know. And right now, look what's happening. It's the wishing ceremony. Oh, so this is the wishing star. So she took 
a wishing star. You can see she's holding it, making her wish. And just like the princesses, as you saw her waving around Aurora, this wishing star, you make your own wish during the wishing ceremony, you hold it, they tell you to, and as everything is twinkling and pixie dust, you make your wish. Let me know in the comments what would be your wish on your wishing star that you get to take home with you. I think mine already happened. This has been really cool. So Cinderella, I think, got a little hippy-dippy because if I'm correct, those are astrological signs? I mean, I know we're medieval right now, but I'm pretty sure they had the time. And then, I don't know, the, the clock looks a little weird. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what do you think? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I was like, what is this? This is the cheesecake. Can't go with cheesecake. Just, you know, amazing. Look, there's light. <laughs> They're trying the hazelnut homemade ice I'm cream. I'm sorry, I Maria. No, that's all right. I want to make sure you guys get it right. It is a homemade hazelnut ice cream. It's so really good. good. Have a bite. Have a bite. So good. And then, as you can tell by the cake, absolutely delicious. It reminds me of the fancy Mickey cakes they serve as a birthday option. They're usually really expensive, like $40. Uh, $50 cakes. It reminds me of a small version of that. Absolutely delicious. So and just so you guys know, on top of your entire meal, appetizer, entree, and dessert, you are getting three souvenirs to take home with you. A wand, a wishing star, and a postcard with all of the princess's autographs on it. Incredible. And just have a, an awesome photo with Cinderella in her house. <laughs> I mean, castle. I mean, look at this. It's a castle. And now it's towards the end of the night, it's around 10 p.m. And it's a lot emptier, but they do take dining reservations as late as 9 and 9.30. And I actually think if you didn't want to see the fireworks, definitely check out the later time options. It's very empty. Again, look how beautiful this room is. And now it's pretty empty at the end of the night. It's almost midnight. No, I'm just kidding, it's 10 p.m. But as the clock strikes midnight, that's when everybody's cues to go home. And the park is open later now, which is great. And I definitely think this is an awesome option for a late night meal and incredible fireworks. It's almost midnight and we have Cinderella's court all to ourselves. How cool is this? Oh, can I sit on her throne? I gotta sit on her throne. It's all right. We saw other people taking photos sitting on her, on her throne. Oh. I feel like a princess. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this amazing, uh, of course, building, castle, the meal, uh, and hear the song in the background, and the music of all the princesses and meeting them, absolutely amazing. And of course, if you wanna be entered to win a shirt from shoplbv.com, that's right, go to shoplbv.com, you're gonna have to answer what is the original name of Cinderella's royal table? And let's give away another one, another shirt. Go to shoplv.com if you wanna see this up close. How many hidden Cinderella Easter eggs are in this shirt? Um, did you see the birds? Did you see the mice? And did you see her carriage right there? How cool. Everything ranging from the birds here to the tapestries. I wonder if that's like her uncle. Her uncle, her dog. Uh, you know what that means? It's time to call it a night. It is, it's almost midnight. <laughs> that was the most amazing meal for a character dining, as well as the experience. I thought all of it was super magical. Let me know in the comments if you agree, or let us know other character dining you like more. I think Minnie's Vine and Dine is very good food, but again, there's just something so incredibly romantic, uh, beautiful, magical. The princesses were amazing, the music, the ambiance. It was just whole other level character dining. Of course, me and the girls are already planning to come back. I thought it was that awesome. Just to see the fireworks the way we did, I would pay the money just for that experience itself. Make sure to check out our other vlogs because it's also never a dull moment. Lots of laughs, lots of fun. We have tons more amazing vlogs to check out if you haven't already. From the Regal Eagle barbecue, new menu items, and all the hidden gems in there from the Imagineers, as well as new Flower and Garden Festival, and so much more. So make sure to check those out after this. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, because you don't want to miss Never Dull Moment here on LBB TV. I'm Maria, where we never say goodbye, we only say what Mickey says. See you real soon.